Hey everyone, how you doing? Blue here, back with part 3 of our Minecraft Medieval Castle tutorial. Now over the last few episodes we've managed to cover the gate, the walls, the towers and we've made a start on the castle. Today we're going to make a start with the main supporting platform underneath the castle and hopefully we're going to build up the rest of the walls on the castle all the way up into the roof level. Now with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and put a bunch of items all on screen now. All these items are going to be the items that are going to be needed for the entire castle. So I have put these already in the previous two videos, but I'm going to post them just again in case you want another reference of the items needed. And with that being said, guys, let's get building. Okay, we've got lots of work to do guys, so we're going to dive straight in and we're going to head over to the main castle over here and we're going to head to this tower. Now, if you remember in last episode, we did make a little marker for the floor level, which was just underneath this wall here. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue this over to the right hand side, okay, and then we're going to bring it all the way down to the back of this tower, to the last block on the corner here, okay, right on that corner. Now, counting from that corner, we're going to count that one there, and we're going to go two, three, four, five. Then from here, we're going to count this block here, and we're going to go back by 23 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Now, if we start bringing this one across this way, okay, which is going to be running parallel with the front of the build like this, once we get to this bit that sticks out here, we should have enough to have two blocks for the platform here, okay? So one and two, as you can see. Now, we're going to continue bringing this all the way down, all the way across, and we're going to keep going, bring it all the way over, and then here, right, okay, so we're gonna break it just there. We wanna bring it where we've got this free section of wall here, we wanna bring it to the little gap before it. So if we bring it to there, we wanna bring it straight to that marker there. So we've got the free section of the wall here, which is right on the corner here, the final sort of tower point. We wanna make sure we bring it into this little first pillar point here. Then we're going to go ahead pretty much from here, and what we do, let's just do that for a second. Underneath here, we can come and this will be inside the castle so what we're going to do is we're going to go and get stone for the moment and from this point here so let's put one block there and then from underneath here you can see exactly where i am so the stone here i'm going to just run this all the way around the edge just one layer for now all the way around the edge here and this just helps us keep a marking for now of where the um where the castle finishes so we're going to do that all the way and then once you get to this corner here where the tower is, we're going to just continue around on the outer edge like this. And then join over to here. Okay. And then while we're here, you can actually see we've got a one block gap there. Let's just put a block inside there for now. So when we come around here and we go on to the inside, we can go ahead and put in our flooring right in front of these last blocks here. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to cover the entire flooring all at that same level on the inside of the castle, okay, which will bring us on this level here. And then we want to fill this section on the outside here as well. We want to fill that up as well, okay. So this section here can run straight underneath this wall here and join in here. But we want it to finish at the edge of the castle here. So that's why I put that little stone wall bit on the bottom edge. So... Let's go ahead and we're going to start from the corner over here and we're going to just start filling in all of this, okay? Okay, once your platform is all in place, guys, be sure to go ahead and put in a bunch of torches. Make sure you get them underneath as well because it's going to be very dark underneath here and make sure you get them inside the castle in all the gaps as well just to keep it all lit up. I've gone ahead and put some higher up on the walls as well just to keep it lit up in here so you guys can see what I'm doing when I'm working. But we will be getting rid of all those torches and getting some more practical lighting in place. Now we're going to go ahead and start getting in some of the details here. So first of all, we're going to work out where the stairway is going to be. So we have a five block gap in the doorway here. 
So we're going to go right to this block here, which is the first block of the gap of the doorway. And we go one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Then we're just going to simply go ahead and put in a polish on the side block next to each one of those. And then up here, we're going to put an up a uh, normal stair just behind it like so. Now, get your spruce stairs again. And we're going to go underneath. And I'm going to just do one side here for now. So we're going to put an upside down stair. Then we're going to put another stair. So that's two stairs going down. Repeat the pattern. Three stairs. Four stairs coming down. And then five stairs. This is actually going to be where the ground level is. We're going to make a nice little walkway that comes up. And we're going to sort of rearrange the terrain down here. It's going to be a bit of work. But we'll get that all done later on. Now, just go ahead and bring your stairs over all the way across like this. And then you're going to go ahead and get your polished andesite. Place one next to each stair like so. Then we're just going to extend this back and join it up to this one here. And then, of course, just fill in the gap like so. Do exactly the same again around on this side. And then get your polished andesite stairs and at the top here, put an upside down one and then just put an upside down one all the way down until you get to the level here and then repeat it on this side as well. Now the stairs are all in place, let's go ahead and start working on the wall. So first of all, we're going to go on the right hand side of the stairs here and we're going to put a polished andesite block just there in line with the spruce planks. We're going to leave a three block gap and place one here. And then just repeatedly leave a three block gap all the way across and you should land on this corner. Once you're on the corner, place a block on this side, leave a three block gap and continue to pound all the way down until you are two blocks from the end, which is this one just here. Now, we're going to go around to the left hand side of the stairs and we're going to do exactly the same again. So we're going to place one there, then we're going to do a three, three block gap, place one here, another three block gap, one here, and then finally a three block gap, one here. And we're going to stop just there for the moment. Now, over here, we've got this bit of the wall that comes down here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six blocks so far. We're going to go 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, so 22 blocks from this one here all the way to the one right in front of this little corner block here. And then we're simply going to just make that three blocks wide. So go 1, 2 and just bring that all the way down. Now, we should be able to go over to this corner here, put a block here and here on these two corners. Then we should be able to leave a three block gap, place one here, a three block gap, a three block gap, and then we should have three blocks before the corner one just here. Now, what we're going to do for all of these is we're going to make pillars underneath, but the pillars are going to go under to where the spruce planks are, so they're one block further black back. Then we're going to bring them all the way down to the ground just like this okay so for the corner here as you can see both these blocks will join to that same pillar on the single ones they're just going to go back like this and we're going to go around and we're going to do that around all of them just remember that that corner over there there will only be one pillar obviously going down and also underneath here because we don't actually have a corner piece we still want a pillar right in this diagonal corner so when we have this one here, there's going to be a three block gap and one here, there will also be a three block gap. So just make sure you get that pillar in there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get all those in place. Now you guys can do the same and then we'll come back and we'll finish up some of the details. OK, once that's all in place, we're going to go ahead and for now, we're going to just do it with stone, but we will texture it later on. So. From this corner here, so there's the stairway there, okay? If we come over to this corner here, first of all, where we got this first pillar, we want to diagonally come in here. Let's place two blocks here for now. And then we're going to bring a row all the way down to the corner. All the way down to here. And then we're going to bring it all the way across. 
keep going all the way until we get to the end pillar. Okay, just remember once you get to the end pillar here, guys, you want to be inset. Okay, so the pillar needs to stick out one. And then down here, we're going to bring another bit all the way down. All the way down here. And for now, we can just leave it just there. Okay. And we're going to just go ahead and raise that until it is in line with the bottom of the wood planks down here. Okay. So just bring it all the way up to the planks. Just like this. And do that all the way around. It's going to take a little while because there's quite a lot of stone to put in place. But go ahead, get that all in place. And then that will finish the front walls here. And leaves us a nice section underneath the um, castle for doing something that we want with it. I mean, look, we've got a large space here to play with, which is going to be awesome. So, so let's go ahead and get this all in place. Okay, once you've got that all in place, you should have something that looks a bit like this. And um, we're going to go around to the side here and we're going to work our way all the way around to the other side. So starting over here for these gaps, guys, what we're going to do is put an upside down stair underneath like this. An upside down stair on here. And then one, two, three on top like so. Later on, we're going to go ahead and put probably an iron trap door or something here just to cover up the, um, the brown under there. But for now, we're going to just leave it like that. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put one, two, three of the polished andesite. And then we're going to put in our cobblestone wall. Now, we're going to be going around, obviously, every other block, putting in a slab and then onto the other ones. So we're going to go ahead and do that all at the end. So for now, we're going to just go ahead and get these details in all the way around. So just make sure you put your upside down stairs like so. Three of them across here, one under here, and then polish and side block like this on every other block and then of course go ahead and get in your cobblestone wall so i'm going to go ahead do that all the way around guys bring it all the way around these gaps here on this corner here you can't complete it because we've only got a two gap here so what you do is put one there one stair there put two on here and then up here you'd go two blocks like so and then your wall like so okay so just go ahead and get that all in place Okay, once that's all done, guys, just make sure that over in this corner here that the stairs actually run right around this little corner here, okay? Because there's three, they basically will join together nicely in the corner with your two stairs just like that. And you will end up with a little um, a polished andesite stair just here. But you're going to need to keep that there because otherwise the wood is going to be seen from the outside. Now go ahead and get your um, your polished andesite slabs and wherever we've got a pillar, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to put one on top of all of those. Okay, and the last little bit of details for these walls, guys, is just doing a little bit of texturing. So just a few stone bricks and some andesite just to make it look a little bit nicer or, or a little bit more sort of worn with the texture, something kind of like that. Just go ahead and do that all the way around. It's easier to probably do it now than it is to come back and do it later because you'll end up coming, having to come back and do so much at once that it will be a very boring job. So it's better to keep doing it in small chunks than it is to do it all at once. Um, but it's entirely up to you guys how you want to go about doing it. I'm going to just quickly go ahead and do it all now and then that way it's all done and then we can move on to the next section. So go around if you want guys, get this all in place. And I'll catch you once we're done. Okay, guys. Now, just to finish off the walls, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put an iron trap door just underneath here. Just to cover up that um, that little bit of um, brown from the spruce wood. The iron trap door works out pretty nice, actually. It's got a nice little sort of color change, which just adds a little hint of detail. So let's just get those in all of those gaps, just like so. Okay, to finish off the base of the castle on this side over here, guys, what we're going to just do is we're just going to pretty much just bring the stone from the walls all the way down for this edge here. So just basically bring all of this around this edge all the way down, bring it all the way down to the ground for now. Just use the stone 
we may need to break some of this a bit later so i wouldn't worry about texturing it just yet because we're probably gonna break a little bit of this later on so for now just bring it down with the stone just to finish it all off just to there okay so just till we get to this block here just extend all of the stone there and bring it all the way down to the ground okay this is the left hand side of the castle okay now time to finish up some things on the castle so first of all let's get our doorway in place so in the five block gap that we have at the front here we're going to come up by one two three four five six seven on that seventh block there we're going to bring it all the way across like this and then we're just going to go ahead quickly and just fill that in with the rest of the stone just like so now the next one is going to be a little bit higher so we're going to go for now we're going to just leave a two block gap so one two and we're going to just bring this one all the way across like this and again let's just fill that gap across there and then the next one is not quite going to fill all of that gap so we're going to leave that as it is now starting on the bottom we're going to just use a stone for now but it can be textured later on so we're going to put in a stone on there and a stone on that corner then we're going to use a stone upside down stair and then on the top one here we're going to put a slab and a slab so we get this kind of a shape now on the next one here we want to bring it down a little bit further so first of all get your stone brick stairs and where we have this upside down stair at the bottom here go one block up and you want to put a normal stair and then an upside down stair above it then we'll do the same over here so the one block above a normal then an upside down stair like so go back to your stone you're going to put one in the corners like this and then one in front of it just here and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the stone slabs we're going to go one oops one just there one there and then right in the center we're going to put a stair up upside down if we can get it <laughs> just like that for a little bit of detail now for the top part here we're going to go ahead again just finish off a little trim really to the edges so if we get out stone we can go over here and we can probably go one and then one at the top and two one one and two just like this and then we should be able to get a upside down stair here and here here and here on top we're gonna put a four block and then we're gonna go a four block again and then a slab on each side something kind of like that okay now I'm not quite happy with this one up here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a slab just there which is next to the stair okay again on that side then we're just gonna run a four block across those ones there okay there we go that gives a much nicer archway there and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put in some cobblestone wall in the corner all the way up to that upside down stair and the same in here there we go that looks really cool now at this point here we could go ahead and break in some windows i'm going to get the polished andesite for now and i think we're going to go one, two, on the third block up, I'm going to put a normal stair. Then I'm going to break one, two, three, and four. Upside down stair, there and there. We'll do the windows later on. I think that's a good one. And then we're going to go one, two, three, upside down one there, a normal one there. One, two, three, upside down one at the top. Okay, that's looking good. Over here in this corner here, we've got a bit of a gap here. And what do we have? We have one, one, two, three, four. Yep, we can get four windows in here. So let's do the same thing. So three up, we're gonna put upside down stairs on the third block, a normal stair above those. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think four. Just like so and uh, I guess we'll probably put an upside down stair at the top as well yeah that will do for now at least now above this is gonna actually be a, a balcony 
So what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves some spruce planks again. And starting on this edge here, we're going to go ahead. We're going to bring it all the way around the edge. All the way around. Just follow that edge all the way from one side all the way until you reach that corner over there. Now to divide the floor up just for now, we're going to go over to here and we're going to bring this all the way across to the other side. All the way over to here for the moment. And then this one we're going to come so we are right in here one block on this edge here so we're going to come to that level and we're going to just bring another one all the way across here for now now we're going to fill all this edge here and all down here with the spruce planks the reason i haven't gone any further than that is because i'm not sure what i'm going to do yet for the inside of the castle so i don't know if we need a floor on these levels yet because i'm not sure if it's going to be just a balcony on an edge because I plan on having a throne room in here somewhere just here. which And I want to make it pretty big. So for now, I'm going to just leave it as it is like this. And I'm going to just fill the flooring on the outside. But likely as later on, we will come in and put some more flooring in for some more levels. But for now, we're just going to go with this. So let's go ahead and just fill all the flooring in in that gap. Okay, now the platform is all in place. We're going to come over to the corner here. And starting from this one here, we're going to put one upside down polished andesite on every other block. This one here, put one here and put down every other block so that we are kind of a zigzag between them all. On the corner here, because we've got this little corner pillar here, we want to make sure we kind of curve towards it, okay? Up towards the center point like that. Then we're going to put two on the lower half here, one in the middle. This one here, do the same as what we've done on the other side. So one like that, one like that. And then from here, every other block going across. All the way to there. And then in the gaps, one above, like that. This corner here, one here, so that these two twist towards each other for the corner. One here, one here, one in the center. This side here, twist towards this pillar. Then we're going to put one here and one here, okay, leaving a two block gap between this one. Down the side, we're going to go one, two, three, and then this one here, we're going to twist outwards so it matches with the one on the other side. And then we're going to put one above like so. And again here, we're going to twist two of them towards the pillar in the center here. Two on here, one there. One here, one there, just like that. This side, we put two and then one in the center at the top. Again in here, one that way and one that way. Then it's a little bit tricky in here because we've not really got much room. So what we're going to do is on this side, I guess, we'll end up going one here. Uh, one there and then I guess it'll be one there, one there. Actually, we'll just curve around that little corner. That's the only way we're going to be able to do that one. Then we're going to put two here, one in the center. And for this side here, we're going to place one on that side. One there, one there, one there. This side, again, we're going to place one forward. Then we're going to put one there. And then we should just be able to go across, oops, across like so. And then one there, one there. And then we're just going to go ahead and for this bit, we're going to go one there, two in the gap with the four blocks. And then everywhere where the uh, spruce is shown at the front there, just put a block in front of it for the moment. Just like this all the way around. On the front here, put two in that gap there and continue all the way around. And once you're back to this size, we're going to start placing them on top of the four blocks. One there, so we're going to go across like this. The corners here, put two on there. One there, one there. Make sure you miss that center one. Place two here. On the four blocks down this side. Continue on those four blocks there. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see. 
Um, hopefully I ain't going too fast for you guys. If I am at any point, you can slow the video down. There is a pull, a slow down button on the video. Now, what I'm going to actually do here, guys, is break these two full blocks, actually, and go with two stairs to blend the pattern. So just like so. And then continue on top of the four blocks, like this. All the way around. Now here is going to be a little bit awkward. So we're going to go one, two, three, and then four. Skip that one over there, and we're going to go to there, then to there. And then continue the same pattern on top of the four blocks, all the way across to here. Okay, making sure again you skip that one in that corner there. And in fact, that one in the corner, if you wanted to, you could change that to one of those. Okay, now that we're here, we can go ahead, we can get in our walls. So in those gaps, go ahead and place in your cobblestone wall or the wall of your choice. Um, in this section here, to be honest, we probably could do something a bit better here. Let's break these two on this corner here. We're going to break these three here, put in four blocks like so, and then I think a one of those in there. Yeah, that looks much better. And that gives us a little bit of extra room, and it just looks a bit neater at the top here. If you wanted, actually, you could just go ahead and put in a plank, and then come down underneath here, and put in a slab underneath there. There we go. That's much neater. Now, let's continue with our cobblestone walls, making sure we get those in the gaps. So one there, one there, and then just continue in all of the gaps, two in here. Now, once we get to here, we just want to kind of um, just work good points to put the slabs on. So for me, I'm going to start with these two, okay? Right on the little towel on the right hand side. Then I'm going to leave the two corner ones, put one there, and then one there. Or you could even just go straight to that one, I think would look better. Yes. Then over here, we're going to go one there, one on this one. How wide is this? Um, we could put two together like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then again, we're going to go two on here. Skip the two here, one here. Uh, these ones here are going to go one one and one so we got a one block gap between those leave the two corner ones these two these two then i'm gonna jump over to these two for the minute and then i think these two as well yeah i think that looks good and then one on that corner and i think that should be good now that that is all in place, we're going to start working on the next floor. So for here, we're going to come over to the section where this little flat wall is, a straight wall. Now where this last block is here, I believe if we leave a two block gap, we're going to just place a stone block just there for the moment and go to this corner here, do the same thing, two block gap and place one on the third one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over to this section here. Okay, this is where the roof edges and where that block comes behind it, just there, we want to continue this all the way across. Bring it all the way over, and then once we get in line here, we want to bring this up so that we're the same height. Then we're going to count from that one there. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And that will bring us one behind that one. And that lines up perfect. Then, of course, we're going to just put the marking in for the roof. So, miss the corner one there. We're going to go up by two and then in by one. And then on that one, we go two and in one. And we're going to just repeat that until we get to the center of this wall. Which is somewhere about there. I'm going to leave it just there. I think the next one is the center. And then we're going to do the same on this side. So, go in one block, up by two, in one, two more up, in one, two up. And just repeat that all the way. There we go. Perfect. Now, if we quickly just work out where the center is, which is this block here, we're going to leave a three block gap in the center. Just like that. Go three more blocks up. So that's four in total. And then we'll actually just join those up to the top there. And then we're going to just do that. 
and we'll just leave that section we'll work the door out a little bit later on and then just fill this section of wall and then this section of wall in as well and then of course this section at the very top here we can go ahead and fill all of this okay now for the doorway up here we're gonna actually go ahead and break three more at this side and three more at that side and for now i'm just gonna use a stone but like i said once we texture it later on you can change them up i'm gonna put an upside down stair on those ones then i think we're gonna go a full block like that and then a slab in the center just to give us a nice kind of arched weight area there and then behind the back here just to make this little doorway look a little bit neater let's get ourselves some uh, spruce stairs and some spruce wood for the moment and we're basically going to put two lots of the spruce wood at each side bring that all the way up to cover the gap like that and we'll go ahead put one more row across the top and then from the front here we can put an upside down stair just there now with the stone we're going to go around to the right hand side here and of course we're going to just bring across our stone across here and we're going to just extend that and fill the wall in and then down this side here we're just going to fill from here bring it towards the back until we're at the edge of the wood there and then just go ahead and just fill this section all in just like so now i just remembered guys that on the other side we ad added a little extra bit of room uh for the edge for the roof so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go two blocks here two blocks here two blocks two blocks all the way up to the top and then once we're at the center at the very top here we're gonna put three blocks okay and then two down the rest all the way to that corner there okay and that's where it's going to stop now for the tower over on this side what we're going to do is where the top of the wall is here we're going to skip one block so go from that block and then we're going to go up one and on this side here we're going to put a stair on this side and this side make sure it's upside down and then come across to the other corner we're going to do the same thing so put a stair like this Keep going around and do it on all four corners okay this is just a little marking for the moment now go ahead and get your stone and we're going to start by putting a block on here then we're going to go one block up and another block over and then we're going to go actually one more block over there i think as well yeah we're going to go with that then we're going to go ahead and put in a slab just there like that and we're going to repeat that on this side so we're going to go block 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 and then we're going to go a slab just there and then another block just there now we're going to just go one or two slabs here and two slabs here and then that is pretty good that's it let's go ahead and repeat that on all four sides okay so it should be block 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 okay and then it should be slab and then slab slab okay same on this side two blocks here two blocks and then a slab and a double slab on this one yeah so we should have one gap in the center let's go ahead repeat that all the way around okay now that that's all in place we have two four blocks on top of the stair here so we're going to count one two and then we're going to go three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then we're just going to bring that all the way over and join it up with this side here. Join those together and at the bottom here, we're going to go ahead and bring a row of blocks all the way across to there. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead, we're going to fill all that section there and we're going to repeat the same thing on this side here and on the other two sides as well. So just bring it up to the same height bring it all the way across join to this one here and then go ahead bring your blocks all the way over and then again round onto this corner here bring it up 
all the way and then just make sure you go ahead and fill them all in as well guys we want to make sure that we've got these all filled in and we cut out some windows a little bit later on Okay guys, we're going to come back and do all the texturing a little bit later on. But for now, we're just going to get in at the top stone part of these towers. So first of all, we're going to start on this right hand front corner here. And from the very top here, we're going to leave the first two. And on the third one down, we're going to put an upside down stair. Put a stone block on top with a normal stair on top. Put a upside down stair at each side. And then four blocks on top of the upside down stairs. Then we're going to place an upside down stair in the center like this. And then we're going to move around to this side and repeat the same thing. So go down to the third block down, a full block, a normal stair, upside down stairs at the sides, and four blocks on top. Upside down stair in the center. And now because we're on the corner here, we're going to put a full block in this corner here and then a slab underneath it like this. Now, on the side here, we want to, because we've got the diagonal corner here, we want to bring a diagonal over here. So place one here. Then we want to place one on the one below there, another one across, and then one up so that we can keep the window shape in the same place. And then basically repeat that same pattern. So bring them up by four and put an upside down stair there. Then around this side, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to stick with the stone for now. Do that. Go one below, one over, and then bring that up to the same level, upside down stair, just there. Okay, that should do for now. Now, we're going to repeat this on all four corners of this part of the tower, okay? So make sure you repeat exactly the same pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and get that all in place, guys. Do exactly the same as I've done there and do it on all four corners. Okay, now we've got them on all four corners. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to raise them all by one block. So just put one block of stone all the way around the edge of each tower, just like this. Do that on all four corners. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and add just a few little details in. So what we're going to do for each roof of these little towers here, we're going to put an upside down polished andesite stair like this. We're going to put a slab in the middle with a slab on top. Slab in the corner on the top half with a slab on top. Slab in this corner like that. And we're going to repeat that pan all the way around. So let's get our stairs in first of all. And then our double slabs. Once you've done that, just go ahead and on the upside down stairs, just go ahead and place a cobblestone wall. Then we're going to go ahead and repeat that on all four other towers. Okay, now those are all in place. Let's go ahead and just make a little bit of detail across the ledge here. So where this upside down stair is here, we're going to put a polished underside stair upside down right here and then on every other block to there. And again, the same pattern, we're going to do a double slab in between the gaps. And then our cobblestone walls on those gaps. And we're just going to repeat that on all four sides, okay? So again, just your polish on the side stairs, and then double slabs, one on the top half of the block where the stair is, and then one on the block above, just like this, all the way across, and then stairs in the gap, uh, our cobblestone wall in the gaps. Okay, now before we move any further, we're going to go ahead and start finishing up the rest of this side of the castle here. So at the very top where we've got this piece here, we're going to start on this corner down here and we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. From that eleventh one there, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're going to turn towards the front again and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six in front of it. So there'd be seven here in total. Counting from this one here, we're going to go one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then from here behind this one, counting that one again, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And from the seventh one here, one, two, three, four, and five. Now, over here is where we're going to make the little adjustment. So we've got these two points of towers here. 
This one is meant to be a platform. This one is actually going to be going up further. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to break these blocks just here. Like that. We're going to go ahead and we're going to break that block just there. And then those two just there. Let's just break these ones here for now. So we're in line with the wall for the moment. And then get rid of the polish and the sight ones just around this little edge. And I think we're probably going to end up getting rid of these ones here as well. Okay, and then just get rid of that one there that we placed earlier. Now, from here, we're going to break one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And we're going to put stone. So one, two, three stone, one, two, three of the stone, three more stone. This one here, just break that top one, that bottom one there, place one there, and then we go one, two, three. So as you can see, this is the tower point. So let's just break this out of here for now. Okay. That is good. Let's go ahead and just put a row like this around the top for the moment. Okay, just something like that. Now over here, this is going to continue as part of a wall. So we're going to just get rid of this first layer here and then bring that across like so. Right. Now, we're going to basically raise the walls that we've just done. And so they are all at the same height as this wall here. Okay. So if we just frame this in for the minute. Something like this. Making sure we keep it all to the same height. We don't want to go any higher. Just like that. Okay, and then what we do is we will just quickly get ourselves some of the spruce wood and then just fill in that area where the flooring needs to go. So just underneath this section. Okay, so now we've got a full walkway on the outside and then over here, we're going to go ahead and put one, two, three and four. Now for this little corner here, what we're going to do is if we go down here we're going to get an upside down stair there and another one just there and what we we'll do is we we'll just put two and then here we're going to break that one we we'll put two on here and what we we'll do is that stair there we we'll break that we we'll put the upside down stair one up there and then that way we can put in our cobblestone wall just there and then our polished andesite slabs can go on those two just like that just to finish off that little corner there. Now this tower here is going to be raised by another 12 blocks on top of what we have. So from here we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we're going to raise all of these ones around the edge here to the same height. Okay, once you're done, just make sure that you get this last section here on the tower because it's the corner of the wall here, okay? So just make sure that you bring this section up as well so that you have like three, 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 and three all the way around on that edge. Then we're going to just go in and we're going to fill all of these walls in. So we're going to bring the walls across all of these gaps in here and just bring it up to the stone above, okay? So just up to there. Just fill all of these in and then that way we kind of just got a sort of boxed in area to work with and we'll get the details in a little bit later on okay and the last bit of the wall is just in this little gap around the side here guys so what we're gonna do is first of all we're gonna raise this stone wall here until it is level with this one here and then just fill that in Now, from this one here, we need to go up by six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to go in one and then go one, two, in one, one, two, in one, one, two, in one, one, two, and three. Okay. And then we're just going to fill this section all in here. 
Now, just going to add some finishing details before we finish up with the episode. So first of all, we're just going to put in an upside down stair at the bottom of each of these. OK, so just at the bottom bit, just on top of the block that sticks out all the way down. Then we're going to get our polished andesite and we're going to place them on the corner blocks going around this tower here. Make sure they're upside down. Just like that. Then we're going to use the polished andesite slabs and put two again just like this all the way around in the gaps. And then we're going to put our cobblestone walls on top of the upside down stairs. Just like that. And we can go ahead if you want and put them on these ones as well. And then finally, we're going to repeat the similar pattern around the edge of the build. So let's start with the front with this one here that sticks out. We're going to go and put an upside down stair. Make sure it's the polished andesite one. Every other block going inwards like so. Do the same on this one. Like that. And then we're going to put one there, one there. Okay. Then we're going to skip the front piece here. And from here, we're going to put one coming down here. And then every other block across like so. Then head round to this side over here and the same thing starting from that edge, every other block. Then we can go with our slabs, do one on the top half, one on top and do that again in between all of the stairs. And then we're going to go ahead and put in our cobblestone wall in all of those gaps. Now get your stone stairs again and on the bottom halves of these we're going to go ahead put an upside down one on those all the way to the top and then the same down the other side here. Make sure that they are upside down. Like that we can go ahead and put in our cobblestone walls on top and one in the middle at the top as well. And then finally, we're going to come over to this section here. Get your stone. We're going to go one and two over one up to two over one up by two. Do that till we reach the center, which is going to be this one here, I think. Then we're going to do the same here. One, two over up to over up to all the way to there. And then let's just put an extra one in the center upside down stairs in these little edge bits here do the same on this side then we're going to go ahead fill this all with stone and then finally we're just going to add a last few of our cobblestone walls on the edges here on the top and then on the stairs on the way down here as well Okay, I think that is going to do for today's episode, guys. We've got quite a lot more work done than I actually planned. Um, this, this episode is probably going to be a little bit longer than I actually planned to do so, but I kind of got a little bit carried away with myself there. Now, as you can see, guys, the castle is really shaping up and coming together now. I think in the next episode, we're going to start working on more of the roofs, get all the roofs in place, finish up any towers and stuff like that that we're planning on putting onto the castle. And then from there, we can move around and do some of the other buildings on the castle. There is still a long way to go, guys. There is a bunch more work. But as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you did, please remember to smash that like button and leave me some comments in the section below. But for now, this is Blue Nad signing out, and I will catch you guys in the next one.